guys, welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I am Bull Penny. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we're in the brand new 2024 Nissan Pathfinder, courtesy of Younger Nissan in Frederick, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so today we're in this one because this is a three row SUV from Nissan. I love the unique styling as well. And we got my favorite trim level for this particular one, which is the Rock Creek. So, and we'll get into all of that within the video. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2024 rock creek first one being the s starting at thirty five thousand eight hundred and ten dollars which by the way is a eight hundred and ten dollar jump from the previous model year sv for thirty eight thousand six thirty sl for forty two two thirty rock creek again the one that we have today starting at forty three thousand six hundred and thirty dollars and lastly is going to be the platinum starting at forty eight thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars and so for all of those trim levels but the rock creek front wheel drive does come standard you wanted to add that four wheel drive system simply add nineteen hundred dollars to any of those prices but again the rock creek does come standard with four wheel drive but anyways powering the beast is a 3.5 liter direct injected v6 for all trim levels putting out 284 horsepower at 6400 rpm 259 pound feet of torque coming in at 4800 rpm and if you were to go with the rock creek again you will actually get an added 11 horsepower and an added 11 pound feet of torque to those numbers so little more power with this particular off-road trim level power of course sent to front wheels or all wheels through a nine speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 6.7 seconds top speed if you're interested 119 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 20 in the city 27 on the highway for the front wheel drive 20 city 25 then on the highway for the four wheel drive taking regular unleaded fuel gotta love the cheap stuff but so now before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here on our pathfinder i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes there's a circular dial located just to the left of the cup holders there that is going to give you sport eco mud and rut snow tow and off-road mode only if you go with the rock creek for that last one but ultimately the drive modes will adjust things like the shift points the throttle response the steering sensitivity the four-wheel drive system engagement and actually the vdc tuning as well so quite a bit more usually than I'm typically used to seeing as far as driving modes go. But anyways, now that I've got all of that fun stuff out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find a straightaway. Let's put the acceleration here to the test along with the paddle shifters. Let's see how quickly paddle shifters are gonna react for us. And let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, so before we do this paddle shifter test, I did wanna mention there is a full manual shift mode. You just simply slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the right. That is gonna display what gear I'm in up on the digital portion of the gauges. And so having said that, let me go ahead and put it in first gear here. And uh, let me go ahead and switch it over to sport driving mode in three, two, one, go. Love it. All right, couple things here. Paddle shifters, there is a slight delay to them, but having said that, who cares? Because this thing is plenty quick. That is an incredible acceleration for the size of this SUV. And it, with it being a three row SUV as well, more than an acceleration that you would need in this thing. So love the acceleration in that. And I do still love that the paddle shifters are on the Pathfinder though, because you can use them for engine braking. So if you're going down a hill and there's snow all over the road or something like that, simply do a little bit of downshifting with the paddle shifters and let the engine do a little bit of the braking rather than actually hitting the brakes and we're sliding off the road. So they're there for that reason as well. But but like I said, acceleration was plenty fine. Absolutely no issues emerging onto the highway. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 13.8 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 13 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, that comes in at an incredible 114 feet. And quite honestly, the braking feel is great as well. Not the very firmest braking feel, but that number in itself is excellent. By the way, that's a motor trend number. So usually anything in the one teens is like a sports sedan number. That number should not belong quite honestly on the Pathfinder, but it does. So rest assured, if you have to come to a quick stop in this thing, it is 100% going to get the job done. So I absolutely love that. But the touching on suspension and handling up front, you're gonna get an independent strut type front suspension. In the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. And if you were to go with the Rock Creek trim, you will also get an off-road tuned suspension then as well so overall as far as ride quality goes even with our off-road tires 
it's been perfectly fine. I will say you can feel a little bit more of the road having driven more than one trim level of this thing. You can feel a little bit more of the road because of the tires. Like you can feel like they're off-road tires. But having said that, if you're going for the Rock Creek trim, it's probably not gonna bother you. You can kind of expect that. But that touching on steering feel, I honestly like it. It definitely leans a little bit more on the heavier side of things. So I personally appreciate that because typically with SUVs, you're gonna get a loosey-goosey steering feel. There's not a whole lot of uh, driver feedback with that. But with the sport driving mode, at least still on, it is on the heavier side of things. Let me do an experiment. Let me go ahead and just put it in a auto and it does loosen up, but it's still kind of on the heavier side of things. So either way, I like the steering feel on the Pathfinder without a doubt. Touching on cabin noise, you can hear a little bit of that road noise again because of the tires. Wind noise is definitely held at bay. So they did a wonderful job with that, but there is a little bit of road noise because of those tires, at least because we got the Rock Creek yet again. Touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back, so shouldn't have any issues with rear visibility. Rain sensing windshield wipers are gonna come standard on the Platinum. So what that is, is whenever the Pathfinder detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. So just one less thing you gotta worry about there. So that's pretty cool. And also with that Platinum trim level, you are going to get a head up display, which is going to project your speed, speed limit and safety features up onto your windshield. Yet again, one less thing you gotta worry about assisting with for visibility. So. That about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Nissan Pathfinder. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2024 Nissan Pathfinder finished in Glacier White. In case you were curious of our exterior color name. Cool name for a color, by the way. Well done, Nissan. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the Pathfinder is actually made. Take a look at the VIN. First character is the number five, indicating that the Pathfinder is built and assembled here in the US, at least for US customers. But let's go ahead and start up front on this one. I do like the three accent pieces just above the Nissan logo. Let me get a little bit closer so I can show those to you guys. That is specific, by the way, to the Rock Creek. No, they are not functional, but they do look good. Just a nice little silver accent piece there. Fog lights are gonna be specific to the Rock Creek as well, and they are LED. You guys can see those down below there. So that looks pretty cool. Chrome V motion front grille coming standard for all trim levels, but the Rock Creek, because the Rock Creek is going to give you a gloss black V-Motion front grille. And a lot of these accents are gonna be gloss black for the Rock Creek, whereas you would traditionally find them finished in chrome. But to the sides, LED headlights do come standard with LED daytime running lights. You get the automatic feature with them, meaning when it starts to get dark and at night, those headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Also though, you do get the automatic high beams for all trim levels across the board. So if you have your high beams on at night, it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you. So that is definitely a pretty convenient feature there as well. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end. I love this white and black theme. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments, but let's now go ahead and check out the side of the Pathfinder. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one, all the way to the top, black roof rails will come on the SV trim level. Silver roof rails on the platinum and then of course you get a full roof rack on the rock creek so that is what you guys are looking at up top there chrome belt line molding is going to come standard gloss black molding of course coming with the rock creek again rear privacy glass coming standard you also got that floating roof line so that piece of gloss black uh, finish separating the roof from the rest of the body there pathfinder lettering etched into the side skirts let me actually get up a little closer so i can show that to you guys as well and by the way rock creek badging on the front doors you guys can see that so that looks pretty good but also Pathfinder lettering right down there. Hopefully that turns out on camera. I can't really see it's too bright out today, but anyways, body color power adjustable side mirrors do come standard for all trim levels across the board. They will be heated on the SV trim level and up. You will also get LED integrated turn signals though for all trim levels across the board. So I do like that. And they will actually be power folding with the reverse tilt down feature if you were to go with that platinum trim level. But so they're taking a look at my favorite part. Let's take a look down at the wheel setup here. 18 inch dark painted aluminum alloys for the S and SV trims. 18 inch machine finished alloys for the SL. 20 inch machine finished aluminum alloys for the platinum and then 18 inch beadlock style aluminum alloys with all terrain tires for the Rock Creek. That is a killer setup. Absolutely love that look, but anyways. That pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so now since we are around to the back of this one, all the way up top, you will find a body colored shark fin antenna. Just below that, rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Just below that, rear window wiper. Of course, you got that lettering spelled out horizontally. What does it say? It says, go ahead and like the video, please. It helps me out tremendously. So that is what it actually says on the back there. Of course, you got some Rock Creek badging as well. 
Four-wheel drive badging, of course, if equipped. And by the way, towing capacity, since we're in the back here, comes in at 6,000 pounds. It's actually really impressive because typically what you're gonna find is 3,500 to 5,000 pounds, but very rarely does it go up to 6,000 pounds. So Pathfinder is definitely on the better end for towing capacity. Of course, you get the towing connectors with the Rock Creek. It's gonna be optional on the other trim levels though, but there is a single exhaust out that you guys can see it tucked away kind of on the passenger side there. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next is always here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around to the back of the Pathfinder, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is gonna be a power tailgate for the SL trim level and up and a hands-free power tailgate for the Platinum, but for our Rock Creek trim level, it's actually a manual tailgate. So I wanted to throw that in there, but once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 16.6 .6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, the third row does fold down, bumping that up to 45 cubic feet even. Then with all rows folded, 80.5 cubic feet. So. That's how much space you got back there. But there is some cargo lighting back there. You got tie down anchors, you got a 12 volt power outlet, got plenty of grocery bag hooks, and this is the best part, get ready. If you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find more in-floor storage than I typically see in most three row SUVs. There is a ton of space within that cargo floor. You could put a tire inflator kit if you wanted to. You could put ice scrapers. You could probably put like 20 ice scrapers. There's so much room back there, but uh, that was impressive. But anyways, then make your way up to the third row legroom that comes in at 28 inches even, not the most, not even as much as my old Ford Mustang GT, but for reference, I mean, even six feet tall, this is how much space I had back there. We'll say you can move the second row forward and backwards, so you might be able to accommodate third row passengers that way, but it is easy to access the third row. We'll say that you simply just press one button on the second row seats and they slide forward for you. There is rear ventilation for all three rows as well. It's found on the ceiling of the Pathfinder. You got some cup holders back there as well and USB charging ports is going to be available dependent upon the trim level that you go with but then make our way up to the second row legroom that comes in at 35.5 inches for reference again i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there in terms of whether or not you get bench seating or captain's chairs captain's chairs are going to come on the platinum that comes standard or they are going to be optional on the sv the sl and the rock creek we do have that option and when you get those captain's chairs you got this massive kind of storage area that's probably removable quite honestly but you got a massive the storage area within those two seats as well heated second row is going to come with the platinum rear window sunshades for the sl and platinum trim levels dual rear usb charging ports coming standard and then tri-zone climate control actually also comes standard so not just the driver and passenger setting their own temperatures but the rear passengers can actually set their own separate temperature if they wanted to as well but anyways then make our way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seating for the s 10-way power driver seat for the sv trim level and up and by the way heated front seats also for the sv trim level and up sl trim level then is going to add to that a four-way power adjustable passenger seat and leather seating and then quilted leather seating is going to come with the platinum along with memory settings and ventilated front seats then as well but it's so one of the first things i noticed when i got in the pathfinder i do like the rock creek lettering found in the upper portion of the seat i think that looks dang good along with the orange stitching and uh these seats are dang comfortable i gotta be honest power lumbar was plenty adjustable and you kind of sink into these things. So I've had no issues whatsoever when it comes to seat comfort. But the other thing I really liked just sitting in this thing first off is the steering wheel. Here's why. Tilt and telescoping steering wheel does come standard, but it telescopes out pretty darn far. So if you're a taller individual, the steering wheel is definitely for you because it telescopes out further than most other SUVs that I test out. Leather wrap steering wheel for the SV trim level and up though, flat bottom, and then you can get a heated steering wheel if you were to go with the SL or platinum trim levels. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. All of your buttons are located on one side of the key along with the Nissan logo at the very top, but lock, unlock, and that circular button, that is going to be a remote start for the SV trim level and up but it is all keyless entry with a push button start for all trim levels across the board. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of that air vent there. But so then once started up, there will be a full digital gauge cluster that will come standard on the Platinum. However, 
all other trim levels is going to give you what you were currently looking at, which is an analog digital kind of mix. You got your tachometer on your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display there front and center, and you can control what is on there by using the steering wheel mount controls found on the left side of the steering wheel there, giving you trip A, trip B. There's a digital speedometer if you want to display that. Tire pressure information, radio information, outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. I can go on and on. Pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges. But now, let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality. A panoramic moonroof is going to come standard on the Platinum. It's going to be optional then on the SV and SL. So we don't even have the option for the Rock Creek. But overhead sunglass holder is going to come standard as well. Auto dimming rear view mirror with homelet controls for the SL and Platinum trim levels. Interior accent lighting for the Platinum. Wireless phone charger for the Platinum, but also optional on the SL. Rubberized storage above the glove box. I always think that's pretty cool in the path finder i like that so it kind of prevents things from sliding around you can probably put yourself in there or something i do like the orange contrast stitching because we have the rock creek a lot of soft touch material above that passenger side glove box as well so overall this will certainly get the job done there's a bunch of hidden storage just underneath of the shifter i always think that's pretty cool a lot of suvs a lot of larger suvs will do that so i'm a big fan of that just in front of the shifter you have a couple phone charging ports there's a 12 volt power outlet more rubberized storage to the right of the shifter, you got your cup holders and within the center armrest, a ton of storage. Honestly, more storage than I typically find in SUVs and I like the little pen or pencil holder on the back side of the center armrest opening as well. It's pretty cool. Now, let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. You're gonna find an eight inch color touchscreen display for the S, S, V, and Rock Creek trims, then a nine inch color touchscreen display for the S, L, and Platinum trims. Either way, you get Bluetooth and audio streaming, get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, but, with the nine inch screen, you get wireless Apple CarPlay, not wireless Android Auto, just wireless Apple CarPlay. So if you got an iPhone, you're set with that one, but factory navigation system coming with the nine inch screen only, you could check out some stocks and weather information up there as well. And of course, your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, all trim levels but the Platinum is gonna give you six speakers. Platinum trim then is gonna give you a 13 speaker Bose sound system. So. Having said that, we do got the six speaker sound system with us here today. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. I think I said this last year, this has got to be like my favorite six speaker sound system in existence. That is an incredible sound system for it only having six speakers, ton of bass. There was too much bass for a six speaker sound system there. Pretty darn good clarity actually as well. So Nissan, well done to me that actually sounds like an eight or a ten speaker sound system right there so anyways i love it last thing i want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen though is when you do put the pathfinder in reverse you will find your rear view camera coming standard across the board but if you were to go with the rock creek sl or platinum you're also going to get that 360 degree monitor there to the right giving you that bird's eye view which is always is going to lead us into safety and so first let me start by saying iihs top safety pick plus which is the very highest designation given by iihs so that pretty much says it all right there front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors or tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard adaptive cruise control forward collision warning autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection lane departure warning lane keep assist a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert love that that's standard rear parking sensors and reverse automatic braking then as well that is a ton then if you were to go with the SL or Platinum trims, that's going to add to that front and rear parking sensors along with traffic sign recognition then as well. So overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, I do love the Rock Creek trim level. That's why I purposefully picked this one out today. Not only that, I've always loved the white and black color combo. So this is a pretty darn good off-roader when you take into account the off-road suspension and the uh, beadlock wheels and the all-terrain tires. This thing will definitely be nice to drive on the beach at Aztec Island or something like that. I do like the styling of the Pathfinder as well. I think it looks pretty darn good. And again, plenty good sound system for this. It kind of surprised me with it only having six speakers, how well it sounds. As far as room for improvement goes, digital gauges should be on more trim levels, not just the Platinum. Uh, with vehicles like the Volkswagen Taos, like an entry-level small SUV, giving digital gauges for all trim levels, I, I know Nissan can do that. Um, so that would be cool to see. And also multicolor ambient lighting would be a nice option, maybe on the Platinum or some other trim levels, whatever. 
Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Pathfinder in the comment section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all. I do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Stay gold.